everybody, folks. Howdy, I'm Black Dragon. Welcome to another edition of Black Dragon Biker News Network. Biker news you can trust. And as always, I'd like to thank you all for tuning in from wherever it is in the world that you happen to be. This would be Friday. And um, it's um, just, you know, uh, it's cold in Georgia. I don't know what the hell is going on here, but uh, it's really trying, you know, it's trying to do that. And uh, uh, I guess, <laughs> I guess that's um, um, how it is. Oh, heck, did I fail to change the name on my stream again? That, oh my gosh. Uh, the name of the stream is actually... Um, a biker gets killed. It's killed by his passenger who injects him poison. Uh, and and that, my friend, that's crazy. <laughs> uh, so that's what the name of this should have been. Ah, uh, there I changed it. I hope it changes for you guys. Um, <clears throat> yeah. So anyway, for those of you who are uh, just now tuning in, we do this Monday through Friday uh, here, and uh, we hope that you guys uh, come and check us out um, uh, in the mornings. Okay. So, holy moly, man! Uh, let me pull this up for you guys. You're you're not gonna believe this. Um, this 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 poor bastard this this poor dude um is 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 murdered okay <laughs> this poor dude is murdered by a hitchhiker this is listen i i never thought i'd have to tell bikers <clears throat> cuz you know we're pretty tough most people ain't trying to kill us but over here over in a place called telangana looks like india to me could be pakistan a biker dies after a hitchhiker allegedly injects him with poison now this is crazy and this is how the story how the story reads the incident occurred in and you know we 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 get a lot of incidents out of Kamaman Kamaman district. Every time I'm reading you something from over there, it's in Kamaman district. They got it. That's it. Things are whipped up over there. So you can come up here to black dragon biker news. Uh, this is bikerliberty.com and see this story and many more. The incident occurred in Kamaman district in Telangana. The police have, formed special teams to identify the person who fled after the incident. This is taking everyone by storm. Like what the hell happened? A biker died in Tel Telangana's Kamaman district after being allegedly injected with a suspected poisonous chemical by a pillion rider. Now, some of you guys, you don't know what a pillion rider is. I didn't know what a pillion was myself and still, until I started doing this show. It was several months ago that I actually found out, maybe a year ago, when I found out what a pillion was. Some of you guys know what pillions are. First of all, um, you don't really have, like, male pillion riders here in the United States because we in the biker world, we ain't... We we don't have no guy sitting behind us. That 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 ain't how we do that. But uh, here, you know, over there, it's very often that you would you would let a guy ride behind you. Like they're not mad at that over there. So uh, the whole pillion rider thing is it, cool with them. They're not they're mad, they're not mad at you for uh, you know riding on a pillion. All right, that's the first thing. I'm kind of mad because I'm trying to get my, my second camera to work. 
and like my second camera is not working. Uh, so I like to like click over to the second camera and it's got me from yesterday. So forgive me as I'm trying to work that out while we're doing our thing. But anyway, uh, but over there they have pillion riders. So you, you, you have to be worried like, over here, a pillion rider would only be like a female, right? That 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 would be the only pillion rider you had to be worried about. But over there, you know, dudes ride behind dudes. I mean, it's okay. Nobody's mad. So that's the first thing. So you'd never have to tell a biker over here like, hey, be careful of hitchhikers. Because like... You know, for the most part, we're not fixing to pick up no damn dude. But over there, you got to tell our, we got to tell our bikers, hey, be careful over there. Be careful of strange hitchhikers that want to get on your motorcycle. So anyway, the uh, victim is, I, uh, so a pillion, for those of you who don't know what a pillion is, a pillion is the back seat. We often call it a B-I-T-C-H pad, you know, uh, you know, and so most guys, you know, don't even know what a pillion is, like you've never been on one. It's been many decades since you've been on a pillion, but uh, that's what that is. That's the back seat of a motorcycle or a motorbike. Or motorized, it's a little, little bitty secondary seat. But now, you know, they call pillion everything. So that whole back seat, this back piece would be a pillion, even though it's not a separate little seat. But the back seat rider over there is the pillion rider. So a biker died. Uh, okay, so let's, he's identified as 42 year old Sheikh Jamel Sahib. Soon stopped the bike and conveyed to a passerby what had transpired. So, Mr. Uh, Sa Sa Sahib, in distress and dying, stopped and told just a general passerby what had just happened to him. According to police, Jamal, a Mason by profession, you know, this is a real Mason, this ain't, this ain't the Masons that that are something else, but they are Masons in a Masonic organization. No, this is a actual Mason Mason. They have those. And uh, he's a Mason by profession, was en route to his home in Gandhar, Gandhari on his bike. When he reached the outskirts of Valabi village, two people requested him for a lift. One of them sat on the bike and proceeded with Jamal. So he's rolling, he's riding, two guys flagging down. Can I have a list lift? I guess it's a common thing over there to just, you know, flag somebody down for a lift. You know, you need to go where you're going. And he was like, Oh yeah. Yeah. Homie, my homie, come on, get on. There's two of us here, plenty of room. Yeah. So one of the two guys got on the bike and proceeded with Jamal. Speaking to TNM, Kamama Rule Circle Inspector, they're called CIs, said, this is the guy that was talking to the news agency. A little into the journey, this is Mr. Mr. The uh, the rural inspector says, a little into the journey, the pillion rider allegedly injected Jamal with a poisonous chemical, jumped off the bike, and quickly fled. Following this, Jamal stopped his bike and told a passerby what had transpired. So he rode on for a little while, and he he he, he said, "What had this? I've been, I've been stabbed." An empty syringe was found near the crime scene, and the samples have been sent to a forensic science laboratory, FSL. They call those, just in case you didn't know, for testing. Only after the results come will we know whether the syringe was used to inject the victim and what chemical was used. So they don't know yet. So far, the motive behind the incident remains unclear. The victim's family says that he had no personal enmity with anyone. 
Uh, enmity is not a word I've used before. I'm sure it means he didn't have any trouble with anyone. But uh, we, we, I, I haven't used the word enmity before. Let's check it out real quick. Enmity. Enmity. Aha. Uh, let me uh, put it on the inside speaker so you guys can hear it. Here we go. Enmity. 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 The state or feeling of being actively opposed or hostile to someone or something. Decades of enmity between the two countries. Oh, okay, that's how they use it. Enmity. So he didn't have any hostilities or anything with anyone, the family says. Is that true? You know, the first people they look at for these things is the family. But the family says, hey, he didn't have any enmity with anyone. Here is a picture of the syringe for those of you who are checking it out. Kind of crazy, huh? That somebody would, like, throw the syringe down. This is the, this is the part here that can get you caught. This is the smoking gun. They can trace this back. I hope your fingerprints aren't on it. Anyway, uh, according to the police, the passerby named Shiva used the victim's own phone to inform his nephew about the incident, following which Jamal was rushed to a primary health care center, PHC, they're called. According to Dharamindra, doctor at the PHC, Jamal was brought in by two men around 10 a.m. He was in an unconscious state and was sweating profusely. By the time we finished checking his vitals, he collapsed. Man, they didn't even get a chance to do anything more than check his vitals. Kamama Commissioner Vishnu S. Warrior told TNM that a case has been registered and an investigation is underway. We have formed two special teams to identify the pillion rider. The area where the incident took place is a rural area, and hence no CCTV cameras were there in the surroundings. And you know, these days, they got CCTV cameras everywhere. Um, but he said there was none there. He said a case had been registered under Section 302, which is murder of the IPC, uh, which is uh, probably their their code of, of uh, laws and things, so Section 302. So this is, so they're on it. The police are on it. They want you to know we're going to figure this thing out. Um, so did somebody say I started a new stream or, or did this damn thing start its own new? I, I just went on the stream that it, uh, had, did, did, is that why you guys didn't, didn't come over here? I was looking at it and I was like, where is everybody? Um, that really sucks. I'm, I tell you what, I'm getting ready to dump this program and go to the other one. Cause the streams on this are are uh, all over the place. So that's what happened to you guys this morning. Um, it didn't pick up on the stream. It was supposed to come in on. Is that what happened? Pew. Let's see. You should have called me. Uh, let me see here. See you guys, where you guys are over there. Oh my goodness, man. Um, this really blows. Okay, I, I, I hope everybody's catching on and it's coming over. Uh, all we did was turn the, the thing on. I guess it went on a different stream. Anyway. Come to find out, because I first got this story like two or three days ago. So when I was looking to uh, update the story um, and come back in it today, uh, when I was looking at it last night, it seems that the police have solved Yeah, they solved the problem. They, they know now how the man was killed and you ain't gonna believe it. So it starts off as a big mystery. Here this guy is just just a, just just Minding his own business, riding to work, you know, uh, 
SSW says, I remember a similar incident of a lady hitchhiking doing something similar to a man. Oh, that's right. Uh, she was a serial killer, that lady. Yeah, I forgot. You got to be, uh, you got to uh, be uh, careful too here in the United States. I forgot all about that. So you're just not, you're not going to believe this. It's going to be impossible. It's, it's impossible for you to believe uh, what actually happened here to, um, to um, um, this man. So this is sad. Let, without any further ado, let me just get on into it. It's, it's, um, it's horrible. So how Telegana police solved the mysterious case in which a biker was jabbed with poison. So here they have a picture of the motorcycle, the, the syringe, and you got the police over here doing their job. Uh, Jamal was injected with a poison by a stranger who got a lift on his two-wheeler on September 19th, police said. The police investigation uncovered a plan that was in the works for three months. So they not only found out the people, they found out the plan, and the plan was in the work for in the works for three months. Who do you think may have killed him? Does it? I mean, does anybody know? It's so sad. Has anybody got any idea? This is this is just horrible. Telegana police have cracked the mystery behind the sensational killing of a biker by a hitchhiker who jabbed him with a lethal injection. Come on, on police arrested the victim's wife you can't make this up arrested the victim's wife and five men boy a pissed off woman is something else five she 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 took five cats well six including our boy here she took out six men with this, Whew. including a registered medical practitioner, an RMP. Now, I don't. We don't have registered medical practitioner. Maybe that's like our 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 LPN, licensed nurse practitioner. Anyway, they took out a professional medical uh, practitioner. He's getting ready to go to jail for murder. All of these guys, five men, including a registered medical practitioner, for the murder on Monday, September 19th. Well, gee, uh, it didn't take them but a, a day to figure this out. Around 9 a.m. on Monday, September 19th, 48-year-old Sheikh Jamel Shahib was en route to his daughter's house in Andres Gundarai Village from Telangana's Kamaman district on his bike when he stopped for a man requesting a lift. We knew this. But what we didn't know was the rest of this. Uh, after traveling, uh, oh, let's see, let's see. Yeah, oh, the man claimed that the petrol in his bike had gotten over, which I mean, it must mean he must have run out of fuel. Uh, the way they say it over there is the petrol in his bike had gotten over. After traveling around 100 meters, uh, I guess that's uh, the M stands for meters or something like that. The hitchhiker now identified as B. Vinicana asked Jamal to stop. He got off saying someone was coming with petrol. Just as he got down, he injected a drug into Jamal's hip and immediately fled from the spot. That is so cowardly. That is so much BS right there. He was soon picked up by one of the other accused, a person named Vankatesh. So Vankatesh was on the spot to get him. So that's that's two people so far. In shock about what had just happened, a helpless Jamal continued on his journey for a little while until he noticed some local residents on the road. He stopped and requested some water and told them that a hitchhiker had injected him with a drug and then fled. He told them that he was feeling very drowsy and asked them to inform his daughter about what had transpired. The local residents rushed Jamal to Vallabihai, Vallabihai, I guess, hospital, where he was declared 
brought dead. Like they brought him here dead. He was dead before he got here. He was declared brought dead. And we don't have that declaration here, but I, I like it. So according to police, there were no CCTV cameras in the area of the crime. And this added to the complexity of the case. Everyone was left wondering who was the man who gave Jamal the lethal jab and what was his motive? During the investigation, the police got a lead. Oh, it's always the snitch from Jamal's village that a few days ago he had a tiff with his wife. Her name is Emma B. MMB. After he found her with a man at their home. Aha. Uh -huh. Oh yeah, you got a you got somebody at my house. It's getting ready to be on like a chicken bone. We're getting ready to throw down. He had beaten her in a fit of rage, suspecting that she was having an affair. Oh, he put the hands on her. Uh, that well, that didn't turn out well. Uh, the police soon found out that MMB worked as a labor leader and was in a relationship with Muhan Rao, an auto driver. MMB would hire Muhan's auto to transport laborers. They had been in an extramarital relationship for around two years when Jamal caught them red-handed, so they decided to murder him. Ha! Huh. Wow. At this point, why didn't you just go live with Mohan? Mohan got in touch with Vincana at RMP, a Namamvaram village, okay? And another aide of his called Vankatesh. He promised to pay Vankin, uh, Vankina. He changed it. Okay, Vankina, the first guy. Uh, 5,000 RS. Uh, I'm not sure what an RS is. Um, what is an RS? 5,000 RS. Okay, so what is an RS? Oh, rupee! An Indian rupee! It's uh, known as an RS. Okay, an Indian rupee. We got it. So uh, he promised to pay him uh, 5,000 RS and handed him 3,500 rupees to arrange for the lethal drug. So I guess this was going to be 8,500 rupees. Now, how much is that? Oh, my God. This is, okay, you guys aren't ready for this. 5,000 rupees is only $61.64. Bro, they was getting ready to kill your bro for $61? Oh, my goodness. And uh, he paid 3,500 rupees to uh, $43.15 to, uh, to get the drug. So for a whopping $100... Man, uh, ouch, uh, ouch, uh, he's going to kill your bro for a, a whopping $100, man, that, um, that sucks, that, 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 that hurts, uh, doesn't that hurt, uh, and he did kill him, not what's going to, he did kill him. Vincana got in touch with his friend, a guy named Yashwaint, who works in as an operation theater assistant in a hospital. So they, they, they just connected as hell and asked for his help. Yashwaint sourced two Neovac anesthesia injections from Samba Siva Rao, who also works as an operation theater assistant in yet another hospital. According to the police, the drug was arranged about three months back and handed over to Imambi, the wife, to administer Jamal, but she just, she, she couldn't do it. So her lover, Mohan, came up with an alternative plan. Oh, that's all right, baby. Just let me get my homies. A day before the incident, Imambi had informed Mohan that Jamal would be traveling by bike to Andraha 
to meet their daughter, and Mohan hashed his plan accordingly. The police arrested Imam B, Mohan Rao, Vincana, Vankatesh, Yashwanth, and Samba Siva Rao, who were booked under 302 IPC murder and other relevant sections. Speaking to two TMN, Kaman Commissioner, Kamama Commissioner, Vishnu S. Warrior said, the drug that the accused used stops the heartbeat of a person in three minutes. Usually oxygen support is administered when the drug is used on patients. Speaking about the investigation, the commissioner said, call towers locations, CCTV footage from a nearby petrol bunk, etc., aided in, investi- in the investigation, but human intelligence was what worked most in cracking that case. Wow. Well, well, wow. Wow. Well, huh. I'm glad. I'm glad they cracked the case, man. That, that was, that was sickening, bro. What do we take away from this as bikers? Lisa said, tongue twisting story. <laughs> I'm glad I'm not reading it. Man, what do we take away from this as bikers? I, I don't I don't have a takeaway for you. Don't beat your wife when you catch her cheating. Yeah, really? Uh after you've beaten your wife, don't whatever you do, don't pick up a hitchhiker. Um Ghost Eagle says there's no greater hell than a Woman scorn. Derek said, damn, she got even big. <laughs> she got big even. SSW says in his best Monty Python voice, run away, run away. <laughs> uh, uh, Alan Dulane said, Dulane, Del- Del- Dulane said, Dead on arrival. Yeah. Brought dead. Absolutely. Uh, Wow, man. That's crazy. The husband and wife, the husband and wife, hitchhikers, nobody knew how many victims they had, bikers included, is another one that nobody hears about. The moral of the story. Okay, Shadow has a moral of the story for us. No hitchhikers and don't piss off your wife. Yeah, that... uh, (laughs) That works. Wow, man. Wow. I've heard so many stories about hitchhikers. Um, uh, I just passed them by. The nicer they look, the more dangerous they might be. Yeah, they say you can't trust a big butt and a smile. What's up, Chucky over there in South Africa? Good to see you. Also, I see we had uh, uh, some other guests this morning. Um Wow, just to see everybody, it's really so great to see you all. We had come get that commentary. Come get this commentary this morning. Good to see you. So, hey, y'all, um, that's our story for this morning. Uh, it ain't like it ain't like the beginning of some of these movies with lady hitchhikers. No, no, not a sexy lady hitchhiker. No, you had some dude. He was just trying to help out, man. You know, you can be so mean in, in one way, you beat your wife, and then in another way, be so nice, and it gets you killed. They could make this into a movie with all the twists and turns. That that lady knew every crooked person around, or she knew someone who knew them. <laughs> oh, good. Thanks, Black Dragon. South Africa is hot, bro. That's right, because you guys' seasons are opposite ours. It's starting to get cold here, so it's starting to get hot there. Uh, I need to come over there in 2023 and hang out with you, man. We need to go ahead and get that together. I think 2023 is going to be my travel year. Well, friends, uh, I just thought I would uh, tell you to love and hug your loved ones and, you know, try to treat each other better out there, even in India. 
for my people that are watching India. Uh, man, I'm so... Y'all just need to be careful. Y'all the ones be having pillion riders. Not on my pillion. You know, hell no. Maybe you should s search someone before they get on your pillion now. Sorry, bro. You got to pull your pockets out. If you want to ride, that's what you're going to have to do. Um, oh, Chucky says I can come over. I got to uh, visit him uh, on WhatsApp. I got to visit him in his home. I got to see his home. It was just wonderful. I tell you what, man. I can't wait to come and, and hang out. Uh, damn, I was on the other stream. Uh, I didn't realize there was another stream. Uh, just freaking program. Uh, I'm about to dump this program. This program, I'm about to dump it um, and probably go. This is a much better program with all the stuff that they offer um, than... than um, uh, then this is, I'm on Restream, and uh, the other one is uh, StreamYard, uh, but this is such an un-effing reliable stream. Uh, I set all this up, and then you just hit a button, and it goes live. And today, it started its own stream. It did that yesterday. Yesterday, it did its own stream, and right now, it's saying that uh, it can't do, uh, for whatever reason, it's having some trouble with Facebook. So I'm about to, about to, but I like it because it gives you, uh, over here, it gives you the, um, the, the, the questions over there, the, uh, comments right there. Everybody can see everybody's comments. So I like that, that part of it, but I'm thinking about dumping this whole piece of effing garbage, man. Cause you know, too, too much trouble. Uh, and I've had all kind of trouble with it dropping the stream or it drops the, it drops the comments or, you know, it's just too dropping too much S H I T. It's time for the damn thing to go. Um, so I'm going to contact customer service today and, and ask them what the hell's going on. Um, uh, I got people sitting over there on, on a stream and it's not even coming up. I'm sorry, people, please forgive me. We will get this worked out. Uh, or we'll just dump it and go to a whole nother program and see how that works for us. This is a better program. It gives you more. Not It's not better if it don't work. It gives you more um, options and a lot more channels. And, you know, we're on Twitch and all these other places all at the same time. But, you know, maybe it's just too much for the thing. Anyway, my friends, watch, order our books, Prospects Bible, Sergeant Arms Bible, President's Bible, Public Relations Officer's Bible. Available on Amazon, Kindle, or on BlackDragonsGear.com. Join our daily podcast, The Dragon's Lair Motorcycle Chaos, wherever you get podcasts. Join us on our Discord link. It, that is in the description box below. Um, you can uh, e email me if you need to at BlackDragonsGear.com. That's my email address, BlackDragonsGear.com. The show number is 404 six nine two zero three three six if you ever need to call me here in the office um like i say for those of you stuck on the other stream i apologize so much for that um so imagine if someone said nice stream we're streaming together 15 or 20 years ago that would have been interesting <laughs> it would have been uh it would have been impossible i you know i just did um a video yesterday on um I did a video yesterday on TikTok kind of about this um new thing that club that we have as clubs Get on the and um it uh it was um I wonder if I had any I, it's called social Social media is good for clubs is what it was called. Did I have music to it? I hope not. Oh, did I? A lot of the old school is down on. Yeah. Okay. So check this out. This was, uh, you know, this was, uh, in reference to what you just said about, um, about imagine streaming. 
Uh, I made this, this TikTok yesterday thinking about this same subject. A lot of the old school is down on the new bikers and the new clubbers are using social media. Oh, I can't play it because it's got music. Uh, go check it out, though. Um, I can't play it on here because it's got music and that would uh, then get this, this stream demonetized. Man, all this music stuff. I'll be glad when we uh, get to the point where we can just play any music we want. That'll be cool. Uh, Shadow says snafus mean the show will be great. Uh, yeah, I, you pay too much money for this stuff. This stuff costs a lot of money every month. It costs a lot of money. And for me to start this stream up and it be a different stream, that's really a pain uh, in the rump. Uh, Lisa, she's coming back, I think, uh, maybe this weekend, just so you know. All right, guys, that's my two cents. Love to see your two cents in the comment section below. I'm really uh, bummed now. My Friday is not going so good because my show didn't go good. We'll do it Monday, uh, Sunday. Check us out. Uh, we'll have content Saturday, and then we have the um, the the roundtable Sunday, and then we'll see you guys back Monday. All right, that's my two cents. Love to hear your two cents in the comment section below. Thanks for tuning in, and get skinny. Take care. Prepare yourself to take the helm as president of your mighty motorcycle club by delving into the pages of Black Dragon's newest book, The President's Bible, Chronicle One, Principles of Motorcycle Club leadership. There you will learn to advance your skills in applying the 14 scientific principles of leadership similar to those taught to officers in the United States Naval Service. Available in hardcover, paperback, and ebook, get yours today on Amazon, Kindle, or order it at your local bookstore. Order your autographed copy from blackdragonsgear.com. Be the best motorcycle club president you can be. Get the book. Get Black Dragon's first book, The Prospects Bible, to learn how to join a motorcycle club. It has been an Amazon number one bestseller for the past seven years and is required reading for over 3,000 motorcycle clubs worldwide. This book is a must-have for new people venturing onto the motorcycle club set. It will teach you how to prepare yourself for service to the Motorcycle Club Nation and show you how to qualify a motorcycle club to be worthy of your service. Available on Amazon, Kindle, and for order at your local bookstore. Get your autograph copy at blackdragonsgear.com. Be the best motorcycle club prospect you can be. Get the book. All right, guys. Have a good one. Um, and uh, see you guys uh, tomorrow.